What's up, everybody? It's Phonetic Lee, uh, picking back up with part two of how to chop jungle breaks. So we're going to start trying to develop our uh, one bar loop into uh, longer phrases. So when we left off, this is what we had. All right, um, so that's where we're starting. So just gonna toss out a few ideas for how we can start turning this into uh, new phrases. So copy pattern, we're just gonna start with a new pattern. Um, that way we can always go back to our original idea. So immediately that sounds a lot better to me. So we're looking for something that's uh, not as intense, not as busy. One of the things that I always start with is beginning to take out slices and then we can add stuff back in uh, as, as we start to expand on our ideas again. Let's go ahead and start there. So um, what we're gonna do, uh, go into our pattern scale, going to add in uh, four measures, so we're at 64 steps. And then this is just going to repeat our phrase. Um, so one of the first things we can do is um, if we listen closely um, and to our slices, is that R. Kick and snares are slightly different on each hit. So one of the first things that we can do is just uh, duplicating our initial snare. Go ahead, copy that first kick, place that here, take this trigger out. So basically what we've done it's created a two-step. We've got our snare on the fifth step, We're putting a snare on the 13th step, We've got a kick on the one, pasting it onto 11. That's basic two-step pattern, and we've got our shuffles in there. So already, we can hear the difference um, just by copying and pasting uh, the first slices from our pattern. So instead of having our fifth, or our first and our second snare, we've got our first snare, our first snare, our first snare, and our second snare. Little things like this start to add up. Um, so even from here, uh, we could go to our next pattern. Let's go ahead and move that kick drum over the same way that we did before. So now we're on our third uh, third measure. This is going to get complicated, but uh, I'll do my best to explain it. So if we go to our slices, this is still our second snare because we only altered our first first measure. What we can do to start to add a little variation again is instead of copying our first snare, we can copy our second snare from this third measure. And then when we go into our fourth measure, we'll paste that down. So then our fourth measure has our second snare on both of our steps. So what we're doing is taking our slices and starting to mess around with the pattern variations. Um, so something very cool we can do is to hold down multiple trigs at the same time and hit copy. So that's gonna copy five, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then when we go to paste them, 
it's going to paste them all. Even if I just paste on the one step, it's going to paste all of them. It won't, uh, it won't copy the space, so we'll want to go in and manually take out that trig so that we maintain our pattern. But we've duplicated this entire pattern to these steps. So when we listen back, our snare is. All right, so we've got ourselves a four bar pattern. Um, so let's uh, turn it into an eight bar pattern. So, so what we're going to do now uh, is take this third pattern. We're gonna go back into our sample slice menu. We're going to where before we created linear locks, uh, we're gonna go down and we're gonna create random locks. So this is just going to randomize all of the slices throughout the pattern. So that's pretty random. We're going to do it again, see what we come up with second time. So I actually like this first measure. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to hold our scale page. We're going to copy that. So that is just going to copy the first page of our third pattern. And we made modifications to the fourth uh, pattern, or the fourth measure uh, in our first pattern. So this is our second pattern. This is going to be our eighth, uh, eighth measure in our overall phrase. A lot of math. Music is math. <laughs> so I'm going to hold our scale page and we're going to paste. So this is going to paste from our third pattern, which has all of the randomized locks. All right, so if we chain pattern one and two together, Pattern three, move that over to five. Copy pattern one, copy pattern two. And then when we go to change, we now have four patterns. So then let's, uh, let's create a 16th, uh, 16th bar variation. We are going to just randomize the locks one more time. This one, just because the snare is on the downbeat, that'll be uh, that'll be a good way of ending uh, our 16-bar phrase. So, going back to uh, fourth pattern, fourth measure of our fourth pattern is going to be our 16-bar phrase. So we'll paste that again. So yeah, that's uh, just one way of uh, taking a one bar loop, uh, copying it out, uh, using some uh, deliberate editing uh, combined with randomizing locks in order to create 
a 16 bar phrase. All right, um, now that we've got ourselves a 16 bar phrase, uh, I think it's time to start adding some new sounds in. Uh, moving into our next video, we're gonna start playing around with some bass sounds, uh, see if we can keep developing this out. And um, yeah, hope this has given you some ideas on different ways that you can work with drum loops. Um, take something simple and build up from that. Uh, I will talk to you next time.